talk about another set of numbers. As I said, it was in a very impressive report card given by Sun TV. There was healthy subscription revenues as well as uh, the fact that their overall ad revenue growth has come in higher by nearly 13%. Uh, Mr. S.L. Narayanan is with us on the show right now. Thank you so much for taking time out and congratulations because it's been a stellar quarter for you on all counts. Now, given that the headline number includes the movie production business, can you tell us a little bit more about how that has fared and do you think that by and large it's been the healthy subscription revenue that's driven growth? Absolutely. We are extremely pleased with the way the quarter has shaped up. Uh, our ad revenue growth uh, came back. We are making significant investments in new programming and uh, new shows. And subscription revenue, as uh, we have uh, mentioned in the past, has been exceptionally strong because uh, the last large market for digitization, which is Tamil Nadu, is in the throes of converting from analog uh, to digital. So we believe that subscription revenues will continue to be very buoyant. It is also to be noted that a new form of distribution has emerged and that's the smartphone universe. Uh, between the three top uh, private sector operators, we have signed up uh, content uh, deals. So we think that uh, uh, about 350 million smartphones are there. Uh, which is well over the cable and satellite homes, which is estimated to be about 180 million. And uh, we think that this is going to give a huge impetus to our OTT platform, which, by the way, has crossed a million subscribers. Uh, we've been in the business for a little more than 18 months. And the daily intake of new Sunnex subscribers is clocking anywhere between 22 to 23,000 customers per day. So all told, uh, we are uh, looking forward to uh, you know, the future with a lot of confidence. It's clearly all about digital and OTT platforms and that's really the route that the company is adopting as well. Let's talk ad revenue growth. Um, has that been led by a normalized quarter on the strong base effect? And what is the outlook for your ad revenue growth? Can you also give me the number for the quarter gone by? Yeah, ad revenue growth uh, grew by 13%. Uh, and uh, that I would imagine is somewhere near the average industry growth. Uh, we would like to step up that pace of growth as well, and which is why we are going into newer markets like Bengali and Marathi. So Bengali has just uh, started off uh, on 3rd of February, and I'm very happy to state that on day one, we were present in almost 98.5% of all the cable networks and the DTH platforms. Uh, as you know, Bengali is the third largest regional market uh, after uh, uh, Tamil and Telugu. I'm, I'm excluding Hindi. If you look at the regional market, uh, it's Tamil followed by Telugu followed by Bengali. And uh, uh, we think that uh, that is going to be a, a very important growth driver in the years to come. What drove then the subscription revenues for you and will the healthy growth in the revenues continue owing to digitization, especially in Tamil Nadu? Yes, uh, we think that there are about 18 million homes uh, in, uh, in Tamil Nadu that are served either by cable or by satellite. And uh, based on uh, data that we have from uh, various sources, we think at least another uh, five to six million homes are still being served by analog. And with the new tri order uh, getting into circulation and uh, large scale adoption has already been announced by TRAI, uh, I do believe that uh, uh, some more uh, traction will be seen in the subscription revenues. And uh, of course, as I mentioned, the smartphone universe is another big uh, opportunity for us. Uh, so we will see extremely strong numbers and subscription going forward.
speaking of that new tri tariff order, can you just tell us as to what exactly is going to be the impact on the company? What is the outlook on the hike on carriage fee? I think that was being proposed. And I understand that you've decided to keep Sun Marathi and Bangla free to air in the new tariff regime? That is right. See, uh, Bengali uh, is, a, is, is a big opportunity for us because the market there is largely carved out between the number one and number two. And it is a market where there are very few GRPs for sale. So that's the reason why uh, we've adopted a strategy of making it free to air. And with a very strong push on distribution, our idea is to gain traction in terms of uh, eyeballs which then can be rapidly monetized into ad revenues. So that's the reason why both Marathi and Bengali will be free to wear uh, for the foreseeable future. And uh, we are pretty confident that uh, within 18 to 24 months, we should be breaking even there because the kind of programming that we have launched there is of extremely high quality and initial reports, anecdotal references are extremely encouraging. Uh, so uh, th that is the reason why uh, we made it uh, FTA. Uh, while on the larger question of what TRI is attempting to do, I think it's a step in the right direction. And we've been prepared for this even before the order came by because we've never had these minimum guarantee deals in our, uh, 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 in our dealings with uh, large digital distributors. So we've been extremely well positioned to make sure that uh, we are present in all these major networks. And I'm happy to say that uh, uh, Sun TV has been included in the base pack of almost every MSO and every DTH uh, in the new regime. So that all goes very well for our uh, continued dominance in uh, the South Indian market. Uh did the investment in movie and the relaunch of Sun Life impact your operational performance? And will the margins going forward remain stable or uh, do you think there's likely to be an aberration? You see, uh, margins may be uh, going up and down, but we are not very bothered as long as we grow top line and bottom line. Uh, we are not very worried about uh, any temporary slippages in margins. What is really important for us to, is to get back to industry leading growth rates. And even if margins were to be slightly uh, you know, slipping, uh, that's not something that uh, we see as very worrisome. Uh, it's a lot more important to grow the bottom line in terms of absolute numbers. Fortunately for us, because of the increasing share of subscription revenue in the overall mix, and since subscription revenues don't come with any added costs, the operating leverage is going to be pretty handsome. So therefore, whatever additional investments that we're going to be making in content will get cushioned by the improving margins from subscription. Right, good to know. Thanks much for taking time out and giving us uh, an insight as to what has been the uh, key drivers for your stellar quarterly performance. Thank you. All right, that's the management of Sun TV, and it's certainly been a glorious quarter.